you should always check how your website looks on the mobile. But what about the horizontal position? You click this button and you can now do that. Let me show you how. This has all been achieved with some special code by Robert Watner. Much love and support to him. Now, let me explain what you get. It's really easy to use and to implement. Now, in your Elemental top bar, this is where all the features will appear. The first one is the width and the height. Now, when you're on the desktop, you will still see the width and the height, and you can mess around with it, but it's not going to do much because you're viewing the desktop. But when you get to the tablet and the mobile, the values will change. Now, if you hover over the left or the right side and you increase, you are going to see the values over here with the width change, and you could also do it with the height as well. Let me just click tablet, go back to mobile, so I get back to the default sizes. What if you want to be really specific with your sizes? So that currently says 360. I'm going to go and change it to, say, 420 and hit return. You can do that as well. Now, we did have a previous code snippet that introduced a width, but Robert's taken it a step further. And this is why I really love what he's done here. And he sent me the code and I tweaked it a bit and he tweaked it a bit. But he is the mastermind behind this code. OK, so you can mess around with the values. Let's pop it back to the default again. So what are these additional buttons that we have over here? We've got 360 and we got 736. You do know the mobile has a minimum and a maximum range. So the minimum is 360. If I go and click this, it will now toggle up to the maximum. So your mobile range in terms of breakpoints will go from 360 to 767 in width. The tablet always starts at 768. So as soon as you click it, it went to 768. Please bear in mind, though, that when you do move around the different breakpoints, it will reset itself. But the idea is, is that if you just want to get an understanding of what if someone has got like a super pro max kind of resolution, massive screen smartphone, how is this going to look? So you can start to test that out over here and you just click those double arrows over there and it will go to the minimum. Sorry, I said 360. The absolute minimum of the smartphone or mobile device is 340. So 340 to 767. Then we have this option over here called swap dimensions. This is probably my most favorite one. So we're back on to 360 and 736. So imagine you're building, right? And your client goes, well, what about the horizontal? Now, I am not a fan of building for the horizontal layout. In the old, old days, it was quite common for us to flip our phone from portrait to landscape. But these days, I only ever do that if I'm going to be watching a movie or a YouTube video. But most people, because of the sizes of our screens, are quite happy watching them in portrait mode. But if you want to be safe about, well, what does my website look? So say I've got this hero banner. If I click this, it's going to swap the dimension. So I'm going to make a point here and I'm just going to make the height of this be 780. 360, in fact, let's just change this as well. Let's make this 384 like that. And now I'm going to hit swap dimension. It will now swap it. So now we've gone from 780 to 384. So now I get a visualization of what this would look like on the mobile. And I can assure you that you will get the same image on your mobile. I don't know about you, but that is a super neat feature to have available to you now within the Elemental top bar. And then we have this other option called Aspect Ratios. Let me just pop it back to be its normal, say, mobile mode. If I go and click this, you can actually select different aspect ratios. So if I go and pick a 4-3 layout, because maybe certain devices are like that, it will now make the ratios or the layout be the four to three. Now, of course, the size here looks a little bit ridiculous, but then you would go and type in your specific sizes. But what you know is that the aspect ratio is maintaining that ratio. It's super easy and quick to use. So here's the code snippet and the link for this in the video description. Go and get the code, then go and load up the code snippets plugin that you can get for free from the WordPress repository. Click add new to get a new plugin, give it a title, go and paste this in, then click save changes and activate. And then you'll have these amazing features inside of your top bar. Hey, go and visit my website if you want to learn more about CSS or how to build websites in an efficient manner. I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. Big thanks to Robert Watner. See you soon. Take care. Bye.